Getting a new puppy can be one of the most exciting and rewarding things you will ever do, but it's so important that you've done your research and know exactly what to expect. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the costs involved in owning a Basset Hound to give you a more clear idea and to make sure you're not left counting the pennies. Welcome back to the Fenrir Basset Hound Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. From the start of 2020 through to 2021, the world has been hit with the coronavirus. This virus has had big impacts globally. It's seen countries put into lockdown and people staying in their homes to keep each other safe. The coronavirus has even affected the canine world. The prices of puppies have become extortionate and have almost tripled during this time. This is because of the demand for new puppies have grown due to people being at home more during lockdown. People have had more free time to devote to training and socialisation. The demand for dogs has significantly increased, therefore the cost of puppies has sadly increased too. It's important that when you're looking to buy a Basset Hound puppy, you know how much money you should be spending. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the price range you should anticipate when getting a new puppy. It's always important that before buying any puppy, you check that they've come from a proper background of healthy dogs, that the parents are healthy and that you're not buying from a puppy mill. A reputable breeder will charge you a fair price and won't be looking to rip you off. You should look to spend around $1,000 to £2,500 or $800 to $1,500 in the US to ensure you're getting a healthy well-bred Basset Hound puppy. Currently the UK's top breeders for Basset Hounds are charging £2,000 for a high-end show and working line so any breeders charging you more than this in my opinion are charging you more than they should. Basset Hounds are currently cheaper to buy in the US than the UK because they are more popular in America therefore they are bred more often there. Unfortunately during COVID-19 some breeders have been charging up to £3,000 to £6,000 or £3,000 to £4,000. It's important that you pay the right price for your puppy so wait until you find one that's in the correct price range that's been bred from healthy parents and ensure the puppy comes microchip with its first vaccinations complete and any paperwork if they've been registered by the kennel club good breeders will also usually gift you a bag of food that the puppies have been eating and a blanket that has the smell of the mother on it to help them settle the puppy quicker into its new forever home it's also worth considering the option of rehoming. Unfortunately, each year thousands of dogs are placed into rescue shelters because their previous owners have not fully considered the implications of what owning a dog requires. They soon find they can't cope with the breed they've chosen for multiple reasons, be that the cost of looking after one, the temperament, training requirements, or they just don't have the time to dedicate to them. It certainly is worth considering looking at dogs in rescue shelters. This will save you money on the cost of a new puppy, but more importantly, give one of those beautiful puppies a second chance at a forever home. Now, now let's look into the cost of feeding your new Basset Hound puppy. It's completely your decision on what you want to feed your new puppy. It's generally a good idea to keep them on the same food that your breeder's been feeding the litter for the first month or so. If you do want to change the food to a different type of food or different brand after the first month, you should do this change slowly. If you're feeding a dry food, mix a small amount into their usual food over the next couple of weeks, you can slowly increase the amount of new food until you've eventually phased out the old food. The price of dry food depends on what type of kibble you feed your puppy. Cheaper dry kibble tends to be full of cereals and grains and they don't have much meat. The meat that has been added will be a poor quality. These cheaper brands of dog food offer less nutritional value. When looking for a good quality dog kibble, you should start by looking at the first few ingredients in their ingredient list. The first ingredients listed should always be a meat or fish product and be a high percentage of the overall ingredients. If the first few ingredients listed on the dog food is a cereal or grain, then this dog food will probably not be a high quality one. Dogs only need around 5% of fibre or fat in their daily diet. Most of a canine's nutrition should come from animal-based products. Plant proteins are not complete and can be harder for your dog to digest. The average cost of a bag of high quality dog food costs around 12 to 15 pounds for a two kilogram bag or 18 to 20 dollars for a four and a half pound bag. However, it does work out cheaper to buy larger bag. Another food alternative and one of the best ways to feed your puppy is by choosing a raw diet. You can buy readily made raw options from most pet stores or you can choose to do a DIY raw diet. Feeding a raw diet will be more expensive, however, when you feed a raw diet, you'll know exactly what your puppy's eating. The cost of feeding your Basset Hound a raw diet will depend on the brand you choose to use. If you choose to feed a ready-made raw diet or DIY raw diet, the meat your puppy likes and how much your Basset Hound eats will make a difference. 
some dogs may not like certain meats and many dogs are actually allergic to chicken so this may lead you to feeding a different meat which could cost more or less there are plenty of other costs when you're getting a new basset hound you'll need to buy things like crates beds toys treats ready for your new basset hound puppy so let's look at an approximate cost breakdown for the items you'll need you should look to deworm your basset hound every three months or every month if they tend to eat things off the floor during walks worming tablets will cost around five pounds or twelve dollars and fleeing should be done monthly Monthly. this will cost around eight pounds or thirty dollars you will need both a food and water bowl for your puppy that will be easy to clean you can get stainless steel sets that come with both a food and water bowl for around ten pounds or fifteen dollars your basset hound puppy should have had their first vaccinations around six to eight weeks before you pick them up they should have their second set of vaccinations two weeks after the cost of these vaccinations will differ where you live and will cost between 30 to 60 pounds or 75 to 100 dollars it's important that you invest in a good quality strong collar and lead that your puppy won't slip out of you should spend around 25 pounds or 35 dollars for a collar and lead that will grow in size with your puppy yearly vaccination booster this will be required yearly to keep your dog up to date with all their vaccinations if you've chosen to insure your dog your insurance could become invalid if you haven't kept up to date with your canines yearly booster vaccinations you can find out about the cost of yearly boosters by consulting with your veterinary practice as the cost varies between practices in different areas it's a good idea to invest in a good quality dog bed that can not be ripped apart very easily depending on the type of dog bed you like they can cost anywhere between 30 to 120 pounds or 50 to $100. It's important that you select the right size crate for your basset hound. They should have enough room to be able to go in, turn around in their crate and comfortably lie down in it. Make sure your crate isn't too big or small. For a good quality crate, it'll cost around $50 to £150 pounds, or $80 to $150. It's also a good idea to invest in a crate cover to make your basset hound space private. You should also buy your basset hound treats and toys too. The cost of treats and toys completely depend on the brands you buy and how much you buy and how quickly your basset hound gets through both toys and treats. I personally feed my dog natural treats like furry rabbit ears as these are natural dewormers and long lasting things like tracheas, yakas and antlers. However, it is personal preference. Some people might not want to feed natural treats like that and other treats are still fine to feed. I also choose long lasting toys that won't be destroyed instantly and puzzle toys that will mentally stimulate and entertain them. Other costs to be aware of include if you choose to have a dog walker using a board and kennel when you go on holiday or if you choose to send your basset hound to puppy training classes. It's also strongly advised that you should get your basset hound insured to cover health issues like bloat, skin infections, invertebral degenerate disc disease. You can choose the level of cover and protection you require. Personally, I'd recommend getting your dog insured as the cost of it will give you peace of mind against the rising vet costs if your canine ever needed life-saving treatment. Any dog that you choose will always cost you money. It's completely up to you how much you choose to spend. There are good ranges of products that suit most budgets, but like anything, you'll usually pay more for a better quality. It's extremely important that you do your research before getting any puppy and having a realistic idea of the cost is essential. Too many dogs are abandoned or put into shelters through no fault of their own because their owners have not thoroughly researched the costs involved and find they can't afford to look after them properly. Overall, your basset hound will cost you monthly on average around £80 or $110 per month after setup costs and over overall £13,000 or $18,000 over their lifetime. They'll certainly be a worthwhile investment as you'll gain a loyal and lovable canine companion for a long time. Well I hope you enjoyed today's video if so make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comments section below and don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated Basset Hound videos coming here every single week so I can't wait to touch you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Basset Hound Show.